Good. <laughs> Thank you for having the courage to share all your stories because you gave me the courage to get up here. And I'm beginning to think the Mighty Tap success story is going to be recovering from the 14 hours of traveling it took to get here <laughs> from Anchorage, Alaska. <laughs> and I. <laughs> Woo! I um, I'm pretty seized up and I'm sort of disappointed that I'm in such terrible condition to be here, but I thought what, what better place to be here and recover from, from uh, what turned out to be an arduous journey for me. Um, anyway, I've had the same health issues you have, been fighting them for many years. I think something in my background is that I was injured in a, a very severe car accident when I was young. And I fought off the surgeons for 20 years until a better solution came out for me. And instead of doing the multiple level back fusion surgery that they had wanted to do, and I, someone put a bug in my ear, went right after the back or the, the car accident and they said, don't have fusion surgery unless you can't walk. And in 2004, I got to that point. I couldn't walk, I was on crutches all the time and uh, and I somehow got into, I did research on the internet like we all do, how we discovered these solutions. I got into a clinical trial um, with one of the top back surgeons in the world. He's a surgeon to Andre Agassi, all the top athletes in the world. And I was accepted because at the time I was very, very physically fit. I was healthy, I was an outdoors person. I. Um, I'm a geologist. I work in the field in remote parts of Alaska. I have for 25 years. I was very, very fit. He said, you're the perfect candidate, except that your spine is a mess. You have the spine of a 77-year-old woman. But other than that, you're the perfect candidate. So um, I was the 50th person in this country to have a multiple level artificial disc wow. implant surgery. And I have wow. been followed by the research clinic for the last six years now. And I'm here to tell you, if you're ever facing a situation where you can't walk and someone says you need a surgeon, that, that the disc implant surgery is far, far superior mm -hmm. to, to having fusion surgery. And I know that because approximately 20 months after I had a very successful artificial disc implant surgery, I fell down a ravine in Denali National Park and broke my back. Oh, gosh. And it separated laterally oh. right where one of those implants were, was. Mm. And the implant flew up, broke up, came apart inside my body. Oh. And of course, this, this is the danger of implant surgery. If they fail, it's very dangerous to go back in and repair them. And uh, so my wonderful surgeon assembled a team of surgeons and about, it took six, seven months to get ready and get the surgeons lined out and I did have to wind up having that fusion surgery. And so now I am fused from the waist down and uh, with an artificial disc still above that, so that's <laughs> great. And he told me I wouldn't be able to go back to my job and he sure as heck didn't want me jumping out of helicopters anymore onto, <laughs> onto ridges and um, I've been his poster child because I was able to return to my job. I've been able to do almost everything that I was before and it's only recently that I've started having a few pain issues again and I think that's related to my antibodies being through the roof right now. And um, yeah, normally I'm much, much better than this, but um, it was a long trip to get here, but I'm so thankful to be here. And I, my boyfriend gave this gift certificate to Aww. me for my birthday. Aww. So I know. Yay. Oh, and the one thing I wanted to say was I stood here and I thought, well, I don't have anything different to say. These people are saying it all for me. And I thought the only thing I can say is, I'm pretty sure I'm the only one who's ever taken Teresa Tapp's Basic Workout Plus out on the Yukon River <laughs> for three weeks and set up my iPhone on top of my tent 
and did the basic plus workout every day for three weeks on the Yukon River this summer. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.